Welcome, Espers. Hey, Birds. How are you? Hey, Joker. Hi, Kaylee. You'll be lurking. That's fine. Totally lurk. Lurk away. What's up, everybody? Just vibing to the music. Nice. Me too. birthday. I got how cool that is. It's a Starbucks cup and it was on clearance, which made it even better. But the straw, look at the straw. Shh, it's so cool. And of course my really cool straw topper, the Joker soldier maybe. So guys, new YouTube video up. So excited, so excited. It was a Timu haul, um, so that's up. So go check that out. Links in the uh, Guma just threw up some links up there. So go check out my YouTube channel. Go like, subscribe, go have fun over there. Uh, playing games. Thanks, Guma. Yeah, playing some games. That's great. I have got to work on two posters for Lady for Church, from church. And so that's what I gotta work on. Two pictures for her. Um, there are two posters for her for our award camp out that we have at church. So I gotta find the picture I sent to myself. Because she used a picture and she kind of wants me to use that picture. So I figured, okay. I will use that picture. But I just got to find it first. Usually put everything on my, um, send everything to my iPad and have it up over here so I can look at the picture. So, yeah. wants to save. Oh, my shoulder's killing me. It's a cute video. Well, thanks, Goomba. Thanks for all your hard work on putting it together for me. Uh, here we go. All right, nice, nice. All right, that works. Uh, baby is funny watching. Hi, Melody. Are you dressed like Nona today? Huh? You dressed like Nona? So, this is for our camp out for church. Hey, Ashery, how are you? You like my hair? I love it. I had it purple before, and I was like, oh, I gotta do it again. Thanks. I love it too. It's exciting, exciting. So, all right. So yeah, I gotta do this, these two posters. So I got some, I got a piece of foam core from the dollar store and I just cut it in half with these two big posters to do. But, gotta kind of sketch them out a little bit first. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love your little emo, so cute. Um, so yeah, so it's fun. My mouth is so dry today. It's crazy. But yeah, new YouTube video is up. 
Um, what else is? Been working on the healthy stuff, so it's been a lot of that fun stuff doing. Doing that stuff this week and last week, and all kinds of fun stuff. So I'll be streaming today, and I'll be streaming Friday. Oh, it'll be later Friday, because I have a dentist appointment to go to. So, but I will be streaming Friday. So, yeah. And, oh, exciting news, exciting news. If you follow my Instagram, I post a lot of stuff on there. Um, but, uh, my, uh, me and two of my daughters, Snack and Bee and uh, Jukes, are going to be doing farmer's markets every Saturday from June 3rd to the second week in October in a town about 30 minutes away from here. So we're super excited about that. So I got to get my button gear and get all this stuff sewn and made and painted and I'm going to sell some art journals, some scrunchies. A whole bunch of stuff. I posted, I got a bunch of pictures. I took of some t-shirts and stuff yesterday. So I'm going to put those all up on my Kofi this week. So I finally got the pictures done. I've been wanting to get done. So I'm excited about that. So it's exciting. And then we're going to be doing that. And then I thought there was something else. Next month, my husband and I are going to go on our very first hike. So I'm excited about that and really awesome, really cool. So for my birthday, which isn't until next month, Jukes and Goomba got me a new camera to be able to record and to do stuff and to do uh, vlogs. So I'm going to do some vlogs over on my YouTube channel as well. So you'll get to see some behind the scenes fun stuff and things like that. So I'm excited. But... Today, I tried a new recipe. It was a chickpea avocado smash sandwich. It wasn't bad. I would eat it again. Nobody else in the house would eat it again, but I would eat it again. But that's because they don't like chickpeas. So, so that was good. We tried a spinach, like a berry and spinach salad. Like a, It was really good. So we're making some uh, new stuff around here. So yeah. So here is my inspiration photo. This is the photo she's been using up on the thing. Um, so that's the inspiration photo I'm going to be using. Chickpeas are a good way to put more fiber in your diet. Yeah, I need, I had ga uh, gastric bypass surgery, bariatric surgery, tw like over 22 years ago. And I've been sick for many years. Well, five years ago, I had to have my teeth removed and I have dentures in, which I ate. And my mouth is always sore. So I haven't been able to eat right and haven't really paid much attention. So I need to pay more attention now. So. I'm doing it. I changed up a few things and got some special vitamins for people who have had bariatric surgery. Got some collagen for people who have had that kind of surgery. Some collagen protein to um, drink because I need to get more protein. I need to get more vegetables. I need to get more fiber. So a lot of stuff. So I'm working on it. It's coming slowly. I've cut down on rock stars and no more two a day. Oh, last week was one a day, and I started today with none. So, hopefully, get past that. So, I got a whole bunch of fun stuff coming on that, too. You can see this probably too late. Just kind of sketching it out right now, just to.
Just to give me some placement. Sorry if I'm shaking you guys, shaking the camera. Um, sorry if I'm shaking you guys. This doesn't have to be perfect because I'm not being ever. It's just a uh, poster that's going to be sitting in like our church lobby. So it doesn't have to be anything. But I kind of want to go with what she has. You know? have like a vision of what they have so you kind of kind of want to just go with what she's got again like I said it doesn't have to be perfect just just have an idea of where the tent's gonna be use I grabbed a few colors um, like I said I'm using all these old paints that I've had for like 20 some years <laughs> so you know that so these don't have to be perfect but I think I kind of want to go with maybe this color for the sky we've got some trees I got a little tent Yeah, I said a lot of these paints are like over 20 some years old. So, you know. <laughs> and they're perfect for projects like this. I have some old paintbrushes. And they're like, they're killer because they're, you know, I gotta clean them real well. But I've had this one for over 20 years. You know, just hanging out, having some fun. I just bought this one. This one's kind of fun. I like these ones. They're actually, they're actually pretty good. They're nice and soft. I have a new eraser coming in my next in next week, which should be easier for me to hold. Oh, good, good, good. That's great, great news. Excited for you. Oh my gosh, this weekend I have this weekend, this Saturday, I gotta go. Um, started this thing at church um, where it's a Saturday for people just to come and bring their unfinished projects. So it's like from 9 in the morning to 1 in the afternoon and everybody can bring some food to have like a lunch or a snack or whatnot. And um, 
So this is the first one this Saturday. And we need, and everybody can bring, you know, everybody's got like unfinished projects or things they want to work on. So, um, that's kind of what we're doing. Everybody's just going to bring something and we're just going to hang out and work on projects. I am going to be working on some ABCs that I have to, I have to get done. So, so I'll be there for a couple of hours. Gives the ladies a reason to get out and to do something and work on a project and just have some fun. Now, I don't know how much this is going to take paint-wise, so we'll see. made by the same company that made my lead holder. It's like a plastic pen with an eraser inside. Nice! So it keeps the same shape no matter how much it's used. Oh, that's awesome! So we'll see. I've never really painted painted on this poster board. So we'll see. How it goes. Well, I really appreciate everybody being here, coming to hang out. All that are lurking and just hanging out, and all that are chatting, all that are playing ninja or video games. I'm talking to you, Ninja Pizza. sweatshirts and hoodies that I like to wear on stream, but I never can wear them because I'm always painting and I don't, and with my luck, I'm going to get stuff all over them. I don't want that to happen. I do not want that to happen. So I wore this today. This shirt that I have on, not the King's Creation shirt. But the other shirt underneath, the long sleeve shirt. When I used to work at Disney at Splash Mountain, I used to wear um, when it was cold out. We were allowed to wear underneath our, our costume, we were allowed to wear either gray or white um, long sleeves. So I had this one and I used to wear it when it was cold all the time at Splash Mountain. Well, the reason I wear it painting is, I don't know if you can tell, but it like got bleached from the water in Splash Mountain. <laughs> so I was like, um, so this one I'm okay, I don't mind streaming in. getting the pain on. I usually don't get the pain anywhere but like my sleeves. So, you know. Alright, let's see how that dries. Let's go. Gotta do the other one. I didn't, I should have, I could have done, um, I could have done, sketched both of them and then worked. Thank you for streaming Arten and Vibin. Well, thank you for being here and hanging out. It's so fun to hang out with you guys. It's one of those things that, you know, talking about health and stuff like that definitely helps my mental health by being creative and creating and using stuff that I already have. And
and being being able to be creative and just do simple things, nothing, you know, but enjoying the process. used to happen to me a lot and I don't know how it kept happening. <laughs> Says the woman who wears a white shirt while painting. Well this one I don't mind getting dirty. This is my Creative Kingdom shirt so I'm creating with my Creative Kingdom shirt. It's like when I wear my eagle stuff I can only wear that when I'm not doing painting. Because I don't want to ruin it. Especially since I just got it all at Christmas time. You know? So has everybody been feeling pretty good? Nobody's been sick, have they? I went through stuff, some stuff I had made a while ago, and I can sell a bunch of that. Um, I have a bunch of t-shirts, leftover shirts that I'd use, and vinyl, heat transfer vinyl I'd used, and made a bunch of, like, Be Inspired um, shirts. So I'm going to put those up on my, I did get the pictures of them this week, so I'm going to put them up on my coffee shop. I just kind of, you know, want to get, trying to get stuff out of here and whatnot. Kind of want to do bleach art on my shirts since bleach tends to make some fabric turn different colors depending on how much bleach you use. Um, um, Joker Soldier made me and my sisters, um, I have two sisters. Uh, she made us both, she made all three of us. I had it on stream when I was wearing it. It's the green um, lady with her hair up and glasses on. It's eagle, it was an eagle shirt. And she used the bleach all around it. It comes out really cool. Updating on Thursdays about different health stuff. So if anybody wants to talk, it's not a problem. I'm very open with it all. Especially if it helps somebody else. I hate to exercise. I'm not an exercise kind of person. So... For me, I found not exercising is better because, well, I do exercise, it's just not the 
lifting the weights and uh, because I won't do it. So I do, um, I like doing yoga, which before I would always make fun of and be like, ah, who wants to do yoga? I don't, you know, I don't want to do yoga. That's not what I need. Well, guess what, folks? It's what I need. So, I started, oops. So I started that, doing that a couple of years ago off and on. So right now I'm going back to doing um, the one, um, her name is Adrian. Um, she does yoga. Uh, yoga with Adrian on YouTube. And uh, she's like a 30 day challenge that she does every January. So I started doing that again. The only thing with that is when I start it back up, I can't do it like every day because I have really bad wrists. So I feel like I, I have to do it like every other day. So if it's a 30 day workout, I'll do say one on Monday and then I'll do another one on number two on Wednesday and then number three will be on like Friday and, and stuff like that. But I do like to walk. I've always liked to walk, always loved to walk. Um, I've always loved to walk, so I like to walk. So I'll take a walk after dinner. But again, I'm just starting everything back up again. So I kind of, I'm just walking after dinner, just kind of around. Not like anything major. Oh, I forgot to circle. So, so yeah, so that's kind of what I'm kind of what I'm doing. Just going back into slowly into different things. Once I get my teeth taken care of, then I can, um, then I can eat more, I can eat better stuff, because right now I can't. But it's taken forever to get my teeth done because every time they bring back the set, they're like too small and they look like a really old lady. And it looks creepy. So. So because these teeth I have in right now, um, they flop around so much, they're too big. And I'm always having sores in my mouth. I can't chew things like a cucumber. I can't eat a cucumber. Doesn't matter how how it's sliced, how it's cut, I can't eat it. So I'm working on getting those taken care of, so I can eat better and healthier stuff that I enjoy. So working on that, and then working on just like all different kinds of stuff different areas and different aspects. What I've been doing a lot, and it's really made a difference, is I'm, I start putting music on after I do, so I have a morning routine and a night routine that I had planned like years ago and I never really, I would do here and there. So I started that back up, get up a certain time, you know, relax my day, and then, um, I, uh, once I'm done the relaxing part in the morning and all that kind of stuff, I do, um, I put music on. So when I go get my shower or I'm getting dressed for the day, 
is when I go put music on. I haven't listened to Megan Trainer a lot. My husband makes fun of me. I've been listening to Megan Trainer a lot. And it's really helped. It actually really helped. It's helped a lot. Been in a better mood all day where I've had it on for a while. While I'm doing stuff. You know, I've planned out things I need to do for my day. So it, it's, it's really, I know, I used to listen to people say, oh, I do this, do that. I'm like, no, now I'm doing all those things. And I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah. Had I listened to them like 20 years ago, I would have been good. <laughs> it's like a giant olive. Look like a giant olive. So. Need to get a lighter blue for the tent. I need some darker green for back here. So let me draw in that section. Back here. Showing you the paint rack beyond, over there that I have that's full of full of paint. So 
still waiting to reach 100 followers here on Twitch to um to do a giveaway. to be perfect. It's a poster. You know? <laughs> it's a poster. It's what it's gonna be. Um, they don't even have to be like the same. You know? They can kind of just be both different. It doesn't have to be perfect. You know? strange again. I haven't raided in a while. I might, uh, I might raid today. It just depends. Talking about getting one of those paint things. I need to just bite the belt bullet and do it. It's like this little like can opener, but it's a paint top opener. I need to just get it. I just need to get it. My hands are so weak. So I'm really excited. My husband and I are next month gonna start going on some just easy little hikes, nothing come too major. And I got a small backpack for hiking. Not too small. And um but I got a small backpack for hiking and I wanna put in some drawing stuff like a sketchbook and um, some watercolors and, uh, drawing stuff and some paintbrushes and I want to do some plein air slash urban sketching painting while we go on our hikes. Plus I'm going to be doing some uh, vlogs and stuff, video on some of the hikes and stuff like that as well. So I'm really excited. Really excited about it. I think it'll be a lot of fun. So I want to get the. I'm gonna work on probably next week, this week or next week, getting the backpack together. Put in like a little first aid kit, put in, you know, drawing stuff, some snacks, things like that to have on the go. Headache medicine, you know. But, so we're going to start doing that. So yeah, I am excited about that. Stuff. Oh, got a 
lot going on. Kentucky Derby is coming up. Does anybody watch the Kentucky Derby other than me? Oh, and we're getting chickens. Hopefully within like the next week or so, we should be getting some chickens. Gotta get our chicken coop built for outside. And then we have to make a small little box for the baby chicks to be able to um, put them in until they get a little bit bigger. So we're gonna be getting some chickens, some egg laying chickens to go along with my grandkids' rabbits. <laughs> Exciting. And I gotta work on planning the garden. It's one of the things I'm gonna be doing tonight is going through some garden stuff, figure out what we're gonna do. Has anybody ever had? We planted last time, last year for the first time. I'd never seen it before. Um, but we planted Japanese eggplant. And it was so good. And they grow like thinner and longer than regular eggplant. I love eggplant. We like to make eggplant parmesan. Um, so we did, so I decided we're gonna do, we may only do one regular eggplant um, this year and do the rest of them. Um, do like three or four of the Japanese eggplants. And their plants are so pretty. Oh my gosh, I love them. They're like, the stalks are green, but they got like purple through them. And then they had this really pretty purple flower. Oh, I love it. They're so pretty, so not are they yummy to eat. They're so pretty to look at. But yeah, they're Japanese eggplants. So we're gonna definitely be doing some of those. Of course, peppers, green, red, and um, green, red, you know, colored peppers and stuff like that. We're gonna be doing a bunch of those. Tomatoes. We're going to do a whole bunch more tomatoes this year so we can make fresh um, spaghetti sauce. So we're trying not to get anything um, non-processed and stuff. So we're going to be doing a bunch of tomatoes. Um, my husband built my herb garden last year, but it was built kind of late, so we're going to um, fill that this year. And we're going to have dill, oregano, um, basil, parsley, um, lemon balm, all kinds of fun stuff. So on my schedule tonight, I have... Um, I have planning my gardens, planning the garden stuff tonight. And to do a foot bath. Which I'm excited about. <laughs> Alright. Let's do some more blue. So there's gonna be stars on here and some trees and stuff like that as well. Uh but yeah. So I'm excited about the garden. I'm excited about the chickens because we love eggs here. Um, so, and when the egg prices went up to like all crazy things, it was, it was, that was tough. Um, so, I mean, it was, we get the big box from Walmart. 
I, I forget how many dozen eggs are. That was like twenty-two dollars, and I couldn't believe it. So, um, I wanted to get chickens anyway, but this just kind of pushed just to be getting some more, getting them sooner. Because I was going to wait, because money-wise, I was just going to wait till next year. Um, but my husband was like, no, let's do it now. Just so there's you know, no problems, no issues. So, hopefully we're going to be getting the chicken soon. My one granddaughter has been loving got her bunnies and she wants to help her papa build um she wants to help her papa build the chicken coop she helped her dad she's 10 no she's 11 she helped her dad build um the rabbit cages and they build a little fancy um bathroom thing for the rabbits so you can take the, so all the rabbit droppings go into a bucket and then it, it dries out and all the like pee goes down to the bottom and goes into the ground and the other stuff dries out and you can use this fertilizer in the garden. So that's, so she helped to build all that stuff and she was so excited, she had so much fun. So when she heard that her pop-up had gotten the chicken coop to build and that we have to build the box for the, for the babies, she was like, can I help build it? Can I help build it? So she's all excited. So she wants to do that. She's super, super excited about it. So they're gonna be doing that this week. The problem is, this week, I was supposed to, so Tuesday, I know yesterday, I said I was going to take photos, product photos of my stuff, and I wanted to do it outside. Well, as, when I said that, it planned, decided it wanted to plan on rain and snow all this week. So, I had to do them inside. They came up you. Um, so I wound up doing the product photos inside. So I at least got them done. And then we did, um, and he was supposed to be with the chicken coop today with my granddaughter. Well, of course, because we said all this, plans have changed. Plans have changed now because all week we're supposed to get rain and snow and rain and snow. So they're still going to do it Thursday because they planned on doing it today. But because of the, the rain and stuff from the snow today and tomorrow, they're just going to do it Thursday, which is fine. They'll do it Thursday, so we've got it all taken care of and whatnot. See, this is... Ooh, I'm not wasting paint. I will use this, but it's all... See, because it's all, all the big string and chunk that just came out of it. It still works. Still use it. Chunks and stuff get in the way. So we're still going to use it. Use it all up. I use it all up, then maybe Jersey Goomba will let me go buy more. He's saying nope. That's what's nice about it. I haven't all this, the stuff that I've had over the years. 
I can I can use it. People ask about it. I already know about it because I've either used it or have it. I have pain all over me again. So it works. But I'm enjoying it because I'm using up what I got. So I've got ABCs I'm going to be working on this weekend. I have four more sets to do. Two sets I definitely need to finish and get done and get out of here. Um, and then the other two sets I want to get done. But I want to make a couple sets to take to the farmer's market. I was thinking about, I have that Beetlejuice fabric and that Scooby-Doo fabric. I was kind of wanting to make a set with them as well. But I don't know if I'm going to or not. I have other plans I want to use those for too, but I'll see. do the inside pages and all that but I want to get that done and pictures taken of that too so you know so that'll be fun alright so that's done for now oh I can do the green on this so yeah Exciting, fun, new stuff, all kinds of things. There's a lot of other stuff going on too, but that's just some of the stuff that we got going on around here. Or something on top of it. Joker, I know you're lurking, but is baby is Melody still awake? Is baby Joker still awake? 
And when does Kaylee leave? If you guys are still around. bunch of hyacinths from the previous years that we moved in here. And a um, bunch of them are blooming. And I have to plant the bulbs of the new ones from this year. snow like Christmas and Thanksgiving. I love it. Even more. One of the reasons we moved out here was so we could have more snow. Be around more snow, which I love. That's why we can't plant anything in our gardens until like the second week of May after the first frost. Sometimes we're still getting snow in April and May. Here it is April. Here we're getting snow. Just makes me smile. Makes me so happy. I know there's a lot of people who don't like it. It's snowing! It's my granddaughter. She's so excited it's snowing. Alright. We're getting there. We're getting there. I gotta find another green though. Um, so I could get that. Get this middle section of green done and then once this is dry, I'll do this next probably, but once this is dry, then I can start painting trees on it and the stars. comes in late spring. It's beautiful, but go on the next day. <laughs> Hi, Lori. How are you? Yeah, true, true. Oh, 
I'm loving it. It's like really coming down. Oh, I love it. It's smaller flakes. So if it gets a little warmer, it's going to turn into rain. But right now, right now it's looking fun. It's not sticking to anything though. So it's definitely more of a wet rain. We are painting a poster. Oh, actually, two posters. The same one, but we're painting two posters uh, for a church camp out activity that we're doing. So, I'm going to camp out June or July. I got to put the information on here too, but I forget when it is. But, um,. So yeah, so this is for our camp out for our quarter church, just kind of, you know. I like chocolate cake. Thank you, Key, for sock. Thank you, Key, for redeeming Audrey. You are awesome. I actually really need it. It's almost empty. I guess some more. Is everybody does everybody need anything does anybody need to talk about anything or get anything off their chest or ask any questions about anything or just need to vent about something I'm here for you I got gotcha. you You're opening up over that one. <laughs> yeah, but it's okay. This is a safe place. We're good. Sometimes it's, you know. If you need to vent about work, I understand. I'm pretty easy going. So for me, it's, you know. If you're still at work. Ugh, oh, I'm sorry. When are you done? Joker's here. She's hanging out. She's lurking. Jersey Goomba's here. He's lurking. It's a lurky, lurky kind of day. I'm okay with that. I do not mind. 
Some days you just gotta lurk. Not until 7 central. Gotcha, gotcha. Well, I'm sorry. Is there anything we can do for you to help better your work? Work day? Work day? I have cranberry juice in this one. I'm running out of water though. I need to find a blue that I want to use for this. Let's see. Go look at my paints over here. I could use that color. Should we do a baby blue tint? Dolphin blue tent. How about a dolphin blue, baby blue? Dolphin blue could be darker. I need like three different colors. Three different color blues. Seems like all I do is get the lark anymore. That's okay though. Larks definitely help us. You know, we wish it could be in. Wish it could be in here a little bit more. To hang out, but totally get it, totally get it. I don't honestly get to lurk in too many, too many people's uh, chats anymore, or streams. I honestly, because by the time everybody's, everybody streams like early morning, a lot of people that I watch, and early in the morning for them, if they're on 8 or 9, it's 6 and 7 here, so I don't get up till 7. I can't function any earlier than that. Guys, I am still here. <laughs> I am still here. Haven't left you yet. Although some of you might be, yeah, just leave. Yeah. I don't get a chance to everybody streaming or whatnot and usually during the day, grandkids are here. And um we're hanging out with them and we're doing schoolwork or things like that with them or, you know, having our day ready. So I don't get a chance to see too many people stream, which is sad. And I feel bad that I don't get to see too many people stream. You know, I want to see them stream, but I just, I have to get the stuff done first and, you know, hanging out and doing the stuff with my grandkids, that takes priority, you know? So. I think I'm going to go with that one for the darker side. And then by the time I'm off work, yeah, you're exhausted. I get it. Especially if you're making meals and you're, you know, you're cooking and gotta go, you know. I understand that. That's why I totally appreciate every single person who comes in and lurks and hangs out and, you know, I'm okay with that. 
When you can do it, you do it. When you can't, you can't. That's how I look at it. Well, now that, um, now that the sun is, is out, you know, longer, it's not too bad for me. Where I can, you know, I don't mind doing this stuff. Like staying up later and you want to do stuff, and but still, it just makes it so... Makes it so hard sometimes, you know. You want to support people's channels, you want to do this stuff, you want to help, but that's why I kind of like YouTube um, because I can go and watch whoever has their content up, you know, the people that I follow. You can watch it anywhere, anytime. You know, it's harder when people stream. I get that. Because they're on a certain time. I mean, you can go back and watch their, their, their VODs, but don't always have time to just go back and watch somebody's VODs either. of anybody being here. If I streamed at night, it'd be a little bit different, I think. But... videos are geared towards, you know, you can watch them, you know they're a video, but when you're watching a live, it just, you know, it feels like you miss something if you watch the VOD. Because I put a lot of my, um, my husband puts, this, puts a lot of, well not a lot, but he puts my VODs up on, um, on YouTube. That's more, and they don't do well, but I'm not, I don't, they don't need to do well. 
I just have them up there. You know, there's sometimes you want to watch something and you're like, oh, I like this person. All right, this is something long that's been on. I'll watch that. Twitch presence of a lot of people have been, this last year have been very, it's been very different, very difficult for a lot of people. Like by now, I would have had honor far. I would have had my honor followers had it been back a year ago. But a lot of people are having the same issue with, you know, with Twitch. They're not getting, people aren't watching and stuff as much or showing up to live videos, unless there's somebody who's established. Not sure if you follow me on YouTube. Um, let me see if I can throw the link. I just started not that long ago. Uh, let's see, if I, see if I do it right. Be proud of me. I did it right. I'm evolving, Lori, I'm evolving. I just put up, um, yesterday, we put up a Timu haul. I did. But I have like four regular videos, and then I have some uh, VODs on there, some Twitch, Twitch streams on there. So, and I'm planning on doing more eventually. When I get a chance. It's like a giant olive sitting in the middle of this page. Just starting out, I got like 26 followers over there or something like that. But just starting out, just, I want to do some, some, uh, some vlogs and do some more videos and, you know, just keep it casual more like here. grandson goes by and thinks he's really super cute. Goes by my window and smiles and makes faces at me. <laughs> Her dances in front of the window. He likes to try to get a reaction. So usually I just ignore him. And then smile after he leaves because he's too funny. I'm trying. Thanks, Lori. I'm trying, you know. I need to make some money for the family, and I really honestly do not want to go back to work. I've worked so much off and on through the years. I like to be able to make something out of this and art and stuff and things like that. I did. I, um, I did like it. As long as your mind is going in with um, as long as you're thinking that this isn't going to be the greatest quality of stuff, but the products aren't bad. Um, it's like AliExpress. It's like Wish. It's like all those things. I don't know if it's Wish sister company. I don't know. But it doesn't take that long to get because I think they're based in the United States. And, um, but the stuff was nice. I got... I got some dresses, I got some fabric, um, I got these cute little highlighters. I tried to get a couple different things. Prices aren't bad. I got this. I got four of these. This is the whole reason I made the twist, uh, Timu thing was for this, was to put the bookmarks in so I didn't have them all over the place. Um, and they were a dollar seventy something a piece. But yeah, my daughter sent me a link. I haven't checked. Yeah, it wasn't bad. Like I said, if you go with it's, 
gonna be like the Dollar Tree, but a little bit better stuff. It's actually not, not bad. And right now, I don't know how long they're gonna do it for, but if you, um, if you don't get your order within the time they say you're supposed to do it, they give you like a $5 credit. So, and it's free shipping. I don't know how long that'll last for, but it's free shipping. And I think I ordered mine on March 27th, and it was supposed to be here between like April 2nd and April 11th. It took like 13 days to get it. Like, I got a storage container for um, my bullet journal pens and calendar pens. I'll show you. This is it. And it actually, it closes. It's nice. Like, look, I can't even bend it. Kind of, It's sturdy. And... It clicks shut. And I wish I had that. I wish I had gotten more. No. I don't remember how much that was. I was a dollar or something. Or, but I got a couple different things to try in different stuff. So I got uh, storage. I got two different kinds of like watercolors. Um. You know, I know other people have gotten some stuff and they've been very happy with it. So, I know somebody was doing a um, Bluey birthday party for their son. And they had gotten, it's not called Bluey on the, on the thing. But they had gotten, and the stuff looks super cute. doing the video too. The video was fun. I got these really cute little octopus <laughs> highlighters that stand together. It was fun. <laughs> Oh, 
know, you can't beat any of it. It was, like I said, it was, it was fun to do. It was fun to do the video, too. You know, people are always, they want to know and they want to know stuff. I showed it here on Twitch, too. I showed, I figured my Twitch followers would want to, um, like a sneak peek for them. And then I made the video for YouTube. So, it was fun. Can I ask what the lighter space in the middle will be? I'm afraid I'm going to miss the end. Uh, so right here, there's gonna be a um, fire. So the fire, it's supposed to be the glow from the fire. The people are standing around. There's a fire pit, and that'll be like, it's the different glows from out of the fire pit. So. I'm just kind of going by the picture that, that I was given. It's hard to recreate something that's digital because it's a digital picture into like real, into a like hands-on piece of uh, art. And especially more difficult when you're just using colors that you've already got. <laughs> And not going to purchase new colors. She'll be happy with whatever I make because this is free. This is free, you know. This is just, you know, this not a. It's not commissioned or anything, or just for a lady church. You need it for our church outing, so that's all it is. That makes sense, yeah. If I was doing this, I would have done it a little bit different, but I'm just going by the picture she gave me, so I'm just kind of running off of that. Trying to keep it as true to the picture that she's using to keep it all cohesive for her. dinner tonight we are having sweet potato fajitas for real you know um we have a sweet potato fajitas for dinner which are super yummy um and a butternut squash risotto tonight is uh we usually try to do one non-meat meal a week and today is the, today is that one so I gotta go start cooking in a little bit but it's like what's nice is it's like super easy sweet potatoes and um, onions and bell peppers And you just slice them all into like strips and you put some olive oil and then some like seasoning and you just throw them in the oven and you let them all cook. You do the onions and peppers together and you do sweet potatoes by themselves. And then, um, and then you can make bowls out of them. So like a rice bowl, uh, it doesn't sound easy. It is, it's super easy. Um, you can make rice bowls out of them, so we'll either do them over rice or we'll actually do them in wraps. Tonight is, I think tonight we're doing them in, sorry, in, uh, I think tonight we're doing them over rice. Then we add tomatoes and avocado and lettuce and sour cream, cheese, all on top and make that. And that's 
super yummy. And the the butternut squash risotto is we make it in the pressure cooker. It's super easy. And it's yummy. And those who don't like that will have regular rice. We'll have to actually not regular rice, like jasmine rice. I can't even do soup nights. My husband likes his meat and potatoes. <laughs> My husband hates soup. He can't stand it. He does not like soup. So when I make soup for us, like I'll make pasta vison, and he doesn't like it because it's soupy. So I'll add extra noodles in this for the pasta vison noodles, for the Denali to like bounce up and take over so but yeah that's how they are around here but we've had to over the last few years we've definitely had to come up with other things and they actually really like it so there's some things that have been such a miss that, you know, nobody likes it. Or like two people like it and nobody else likes it. Or We started making our own uh, black bean burgers. I'd never had them before. I was like, let's try this because we need the protein and the stuff. And they came out super good and everybody loved them. Like, even Ninja Pizza was, like, super picky with certain things. He really likes them. So we try to do those, like, once a month. cereal, forget it. I'm not a person who's really in the super healthy kind of stuff, but the last few years starting, and this year especially, I've got to start eating better and doing better so and so does my husband so do all of us so that's kind of how it worked for us yeah getting it it does it takes a lot I mean it doesn't right now it doesn't make a difference because no matter what I have people at home so I have to cook ninja pizza is going to be with us the rest of his life so we'll have him my husband and myself um Jukes lives with us right now, still, and right now my daughter, her husband, and her three kids, they live with us. And my son is away at college, is home six months out of the year when he's not at school. So, I've got to cook. We don't have the money to eat out, so we never have, so we always, we cook. But it is, it's like anymore, it's like, oh, now I gotta go cook dinner still, and I don't want to, just want something quick and easy, and of course, you know, that never is cooking stuff from scratch. But my granddaughter likes to cook the one, the 11 year old. Husky B. She likes to cook. So Tuesdays, she cooks with me all day. Breakfast, lunch, dinner. And then Thursdays, um, 
to pizza cooks with me. And then, because right now we have the cooking split up. I do Wednesdays and Snack and B and her husband, they do Sunday and um, Monday. And Jukes does Friday, Saturday. So. So right now we're doing, that's our, that's our planning. That's our plans, that's what we do, so. <clears throat> and it works out pretty well, except for those days when you don't feel well or you're exhausted. And nobody wants to do anything. You like when everybody else has days to cook. But then when you cook, you're like, oh man, why can't it be somebody else's day? Especially when I'm doing stuff, like streaming on Tuesdays, at the time I stream, I gotta start, I usually start dinner around 4 o'clock our time, so I have to make sure that I'm off of here by like 3.30 to go, you know, cook dinner and stuff like that. It does help. It does help. Whenever I don't finish on these today, I will be finishing up on stream on Friday. And I think I'm going to put one more coat on this, and I think I'm going to call it a stream. And I'll do the rest. Um, Friday morning on stream after my teeth appointment. So I'll probably be streaming later on um, I'll be streaming later won't be streaming 10.30 on Friday because I have my appointment dentist appointment is at 10. So, and if I have to go run and get stuff after the appointment, I won't be back at 10.30 in time anyway. So, so I will be streaming Friday. It's just going to be a later stream. Don't know when, but when I get back. stream on Friday. Um, thanks for hanging out. Remember to um, to go over and check out my my uh, links every, to everything. My Instagram is where I post everything, pretty much. 
So any updates on all kinds of stuff, products and streams and daily life and everything. If you want to catch out everything, that's where you would go, it would be my Instagram to know what's going on. I also have a coffee link, shop. Um, Claire, I'm so glad you got up to Lori. So happy to see you. Come and hang anytime. I appreciate you very much. Um, go check out my YouTube videos and channel. Um, there's an Amazon link below. Whatever. Do it, don't do it. Just come hang out. You know, anything is appreciative, is appreciated. Especially the free things that people can do by giving likes or follows or subscribed or, you know, on any of my social media stuff would be totally great. Um, thanks for uh, hanging out. Thanks for having fun. Thanks for listening to me rant and rave and talk about all kinds of fun stuff or not so fun stuff maybe. Um, but I love you guys. I appreciate everybody always coming and hanging out. Remember to always be kind, be safe, and be happy always. Until Friday, anytime after 11, I'll be on streaming again on Twitch. Talk to you later, guys. Love you. Bye.